Hello friends, Namaskar. As you all are well aware that the income tax department is going more and more into faceless proceedings nowadays. And in this faceless regime, one additional feature which in the recent past the assessees at large have faced is basically receipt of a SMS or an email from the income tax department mentioning therein that certain e-verification scheme 2021 related matter is pending in your case. Please look into it. So what is this e-verification scheme 2021? What are the objectives of this scheme? What is the scope of this scheme? What is the message given to the assessee through this scheme? These all are the questions which I am trying to answer through today's video for the benefit of public at large. So the first thing which I would like to put up before you is why this e-verification scheme 2021 or more specifically speaking where from this scheme originated that how come a scheme be launched by the income tax department there should be some authority for the same this scheme my dear friends was published on 13th of december 2021 wide notification in the official gazette in accordance with the provisions of section 135a of the income tax act 1961 which is a newly inserted section and this section was inserted by Taxation and Other Law Amendment Act 2020, which was uh, passed during the course of the Corona period. And the title of this section is Faceless Collection of Information. So what the Income Tax Department is envisaging through this section is that it is trying to collect the information in a faceless manner. What used to happen in the earlier days, the department used to issue the notices under section 133.6 etc. to the assessees calling for information in physical format and then uh, based on that information if the department found that okay there are due disclosures by the assessee, department would not take any further action but if there were no due disclosure then probably the assessments in the nature of 147 were opened. Now the same thing is happening in a faceless manner under the e-verification scheme that is one aspect of it. Further, e-verification scheme 2021 is basically covering faceless collection of information from the assessee and its verification. So there are two things. One is collection of information from the assessee. Second is its verification. The scheme shall be applicable to deal with the mismatch of the information uploaded to the taxpayer's registered account. So whatever documentation whatever uh, soft information will be shared with the assessee, the assessee's comments will be taken thereof and thereafter the department will not only settle there, it will examine whatever is the response of the assessee and then it will decide whether there is a case against the assessee or there is no case against the assessee. That is the prima facie crux which I am elaborating for your reference. Now a question may come that okay what are the objectives of the scheme and I would like to read those objectives with reference to section 135a which I just discussed that this scheme is notified under section 135a of income tax act 1961 which proposes faceless information gathering aimed at imparting efficiency, transparency and accountability. So department is through this scheme ensuring efficiency, transparency and accountability by eliminating interface between the income tax authority and assessee. This is the continuous thing which during the course of maybe faceless assessment, maybe faceless appeal or maybe now this faceless information gathering scheme is there which is called e-verification scheme 2021. It also seeks to optimize the use of income tax department's resources and introducing a team based exercise of power. So in Toto what I can say that this scheme is basically aimed to collect the information in efficient, transparent and accountable manner so as to ensure that the assessees who are genuine are not troubled to and those who have not paid the tax liability which was due upon them are duly captured under the database of the income tax department in a wider manner. If somebody asks me that okay what is the scope of the scheme or where from this scheme is deriving its scope. So if you will read the provisions of section 135a you will get the opportunity to read that this section is taking color from all these sourcing sections. I am calling them sourcing section maybe 133, maybe 133b, 133c, 134 and 135 of income tax act 
Act 1961. These all are the sections through which the income tax department can collect the data. So the scope of the scheme is basically out of all these sections which it gets the information from. Now let me put up before you that what is the applicability of the scheme that how this particular scheme comes into effect where from this database is coming into collection. The scheme shall be applicable for processing the information which is available with the principal director general of income tax system or director general of income tax system or made available to the principal director general of income tax system or director general of income tax system by the following authority. So what happens as you know that income tax department has a large base of income tax authorities and those income tax authorities at various levels keep on gathering the information pertaining to the SSC through various sources. So whatever database is there then built up within the income tax department that will be shared basically by all these authorities like Director General of Income Tax Intelligence and Criminal Investigation, Commissioner of Income Tax who is in charge of CPC or the Commissioner of Income Tax who is in charge of CPC, TDS etc. And all this information which they have gathered they will be sharing with, with the Principal Director General of Income Tax System etc. You need not to get into the authorities uh, uh, name or whatever I am saying you have to simply get this particular thing here that the department has the various sources of collecting the database through which this scheme will start working where the scheme will get the data to act further to know further from the SSC that okay this is your information what do you want to say. Now as since beginning I have been saying that basically this process is faceless process. So naturally it needs an electric collection and verification of the data. So there are two parts involved in it. One when you as an SSC receive a SMS or an email you have to check your portal and see that whether any information is pending against you under this uh, scheme and if there is an information you will be responding to it in form of yes or no or with the data whatever is available with you. Then there is a specific authority called Commissioner of Income Tax e-verification who will verify this information based on your feedback and will decide that whether there is any further proceeding required in your case or not. That is a very important step which I will discuss with you in detail even. Here I would like to read. As per e-verification scheme 2021, the government has empowered the income tax office to gather more information from the relevant taxpayer and reconcile it with the information received from other specified agencies. So there will be a reconciliation also. Say X authority has said that you deposited 20 lakh rupees with them. You are saying no, no, I deposited only 10 lakh only. So what will happen that based on your feedback, there is an authority which is called Commissioner of Income Tax e-verification. They will go back to the agency who has reported then that figure check that whether SSC is saying right sometime the concerned authority may correct itself and that is how final proceedings will be concluded against the SSC. In case any mismatch is found between the amount reported by the taxpayer and the amount reported after such first e-verification the information could be passed for intelligence and criminal investigation. So the authority that is Commissioner of Income Tax e-verification which is designated for the processing of the information which will be given to them by the Director General of Income Tax System or shared to them by the SSC will see that whether there is a further intelligence and criminal investigation related activity required in the present case. They will drop the case against the SSC if they are not of this mind and if they are satisfied that look the SSC has done some avoidance or evasion then they may go into this particular action even. Now let me also put up before you what is the procedure for electronic collection and verification of information in a summarized manner and that thing whatever I am discussing here is discussed in the scheme. So you can go to the e-verification scheme 2021. I will try to attach its link along with this video even under which what will happen that the SSC who has been asked through SMS or an email to comment upon the information which is shared with him. Then there will be the collection of information from the SSC. There will be an e-verification of that information which the SSC has done in form of his comment, in form of his attachment. 
so that particular thing will be done online by this commissioner of income tax e verification kind of authority then there will be analysis of risk criteria suppose assc says that okay the figure which is reported is wrong because of following reason and if it is found by the processing that okay this figure is certainly wrong or this figure is not so major to initiate any penal action or initiate any assessment action against the assc then that kind of analysis of risk criteria will happen as per the scheme online only based on that a preliminary verification report will be prepared if that report suggests that no it is not a fit case for the assc then the information may not be processed further and if there is further investigation required maybe with the help of the jurisdiction eo etc then a final verification report may also be conducted and based on such reporting which will be done by commissioner of income tax e verification with the help of other authorities finally it will be decided that okay if there is a fit case against the assc where it is found that he has evaded he has avoided certain tax liability then the necessary proceeding may be initiated and if there are no such case then in that case the proceedings which could be initiated against the assc otherwise would be stopped they will be not required to be initiated at all let me answer you a very important question the answer to it may be already envisaged by you whether the personal appearance will be required the answer is a clear no that no person shall be required to appear personally or through authorized representative before prescribed authority in connection with any proceeding however in exceptional cases where personal appearance is requested by such person say assc during the course of this uh, e verification scheme says that look i also want to put up my submission in form of a video conference or video telephony then that information wherever technic uh, technically or technologically feasible will be certainly provided to the assc now as an assc if you want to know that okay mr bhatia let me know how can i find out that there is some e verification related information in my case what you need to do you have to log in to your income tax portal pending action once you will click you will find an option compliance portal 1 2 3 in this third option you will find e verification you have to click here to know that okay whether there is an e verification scheme related updation which is pending in your case also that whether there is an information sought from you even suppose you click there at e verification then another window will appear which will say on click of proceed button you will be directed to compliance portal so finally what will happen from your normal income tax login you will be redirected to the compliance portal you have to click here at the proceed once you click at the proceed you will be at compliance portal your lending will be here there you will find annual information statement e campaign e verification if in e verification you find this kind of uh, red circle containing information one this means that okay there is some information which is pending at your end also so you may think of that okay i need to whether report you have to check here and that's how you may be able to reach that okay there is an information against me i have to respond for such particular information which is uploaded in respect of my case now a very important crux which i would like to put up here is suppose as an assc you find that okay there is e verification a scheme e verification information in your case and that also shows that there is some tax liability which is due but has not been paid by you might be you have missed to include that information while you were filing the return what you should do if it is for the assessment year 2021 20, 21 22 department is trying to indicate you that okay mr bhatia do you think that there is a need of filing an updated return in your case then you should opt for the same rather than facing the penalties at a later stage you can think of filing an updated return also so that is a very important key take away from this kind of video so i hope this video you must have found useful thank you very much for being with me wishing you all the best jai